We discussed last week how marketing is the key to cash flow. But what would you say is best for a business? Gaining a customer or keeping a customer? Who is your target market? What can you offer them and how can you draw them in? Let's get started with week 18 of becoming an electrician. First of all, future battery man here. This video was recorded a couple of weeks back before the new year. This time has given me a chance to reflect and I've come to the conclusion that I'm a long way off. I've still got a lot of training to do before I'm a qualified electrician. The good news for you is though, that you can come along on this journey with me and there's lots that you can learn too. Looking at some of the videos that have come out recently, and the progress that I've made with the recording, I'm happy. The, the videos, the first 10 videos, I thought that nobody would be interested in, and pretty much nobody was. But I've had one success with one video that's hit 3,600 or 700, 800, I don't know, a million, whatever it is now. It's given me a bit of drive to continue doing what I've been doing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to producing more content and just continuing this journey. As I say, a long way to go, but let's have fun along the way. Back to the video. You want to consider your target market. If you're a newly self-employed electrician, you're unlikely to be quoting for large international businesses. You might consider homeowners or landlords, providing maintenance and testing. Maybe even working with other trades like builders or plasterers. Having a target market allows you to solve the problems of that market. Becoming a jack of all trades makes it difficult to fill the needs entirely for each customer. It also allows you to streamline and focus your marketing for the type of work that you're after. Say for example, if I intended to work on single phase, it's no good me having a generic advert that has people calling me about three phase systems and the balancing of phases, power factors and so on, if I'm not set up for that work. Okay, so we sorted our marketing and we recognised the problems that we can solve for potential clients. This allows us to appeal to the type of customer and work we want. So what are you going to offer these customers? Now you know what your target audience is and how you're going to solve the problems they have. Let's say you're focused on changing consumer units. If you're familiar with all types of consumer units and locations and how you're going to carry out these upgrades, you can do that in a good satisfactory level and streamline your process. You have then got to express the benefits of your service to the client. But how are you going to market to them? My training pointed out the following steps. Attention. We want to grab their attention with an advert, maybe to get them thinking or questioning. Interest. This can be done by a series of questions that may force your audience to want to know the answer. A bit like how I started this video. Hopefully I got your attention first with the thumbnail or title. Next up, desire. This is where you force your audience to want what you're offering. A little bit like if you continue watching these videos, you'll know most of the things that an electrician would know. You'll have something to brag about down the pub, or find it easier if you wanted to become an electrician yourself. Then there's action. This is where you motivate them in how to get the product or service. A little bit like me asking you to like and subscribe this video because it really helps the channel to grow. And finally, for today, keeping a good customer is far easier than finding a new customer. We talked about some of the challenges last week. One of those challenges is having a customer that makes your job smooth and easy and pays on time. The next customer that you market to might be none of these. So if you can retain and keep hold of an existing customer, you'll save yourself a lot of hassle. This is why you find a lot of small businesses that have been established for some time and do not desire to expand, carrying out very little advertising. If you were to advertise, 
Where would you advertise in 2024? Online, right? Let's talk more next week about online marketing. Battery man out.